What's up? So today we're going to talk about habit tracking in Trello to be exact. A few weeks ago, I created a video called how to create a digital planner in Trello. If you would like to see it, I will link it up here. And someone in the comments requested that I show you exactly how to track your habits in Trello. Now, I used to have this old kind of flawed system on how I did it before because I didn't really look into it and figure out how to do it properly. I kind of just used a checklist option to track it and that, that got really tedious and it didn't really stick. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you how I personally found the best way to do it in Trello. Ever since I started tracking my habits like that, it has become so much easier for me and I'm actually doing my habits. And if you are a person who recently started using Trello or have been using Trello for a while and you want to track your habits there because you're doing everything else, in Trello. This is a really functional way to track your habits and let's just get right into it. Okay, so I have my planner open in Trello. So the first thing is to get the streak power up. You just search it. And you add it and it will be right there streak power up is free and now i'm creating a habit tracker list and i'm gonna drag it right before monday i also added hashtag today to change the color of the list as you can see this is possible because of the chrome extension that i have called list highlighter i will have it linked down below if you're interested in getting it as well it's completely free you just need chrome to use it now i'm adding two title cards one is hashtag habits and the other one is hashtag rewards the reason why i added the hashtag and the space is because then it turns into a title card now that's one of the things that the google chrome extension called list highlighter can do now i'm going to add all of the habits that i want to build so for example stretching taking my supplements journaling listening to audible duolingo working out going for a walk and logging my expenses now if you're wondering what habits do i add exactly the habits you can add are positive habits that you want to develop so things that are good for your mental and physical health good for building relationships small things that get you closer to your goals that you want to do regularly or can do regularly and if you're stuck then you can look for some inspiration online and you can go from there and or you can look at your bigger goals and write down all the habits that you can think of from there you can also write down negative habits that you want to avoid so so you can track all of the days where you don't do that negative habit and that is just as good now i am adding covers to each card to display how often the habit has to be done I created my covers in Canva and I will list my cover pictures in the description if you'd like to use them for yourself. All the links will be down in the description box. This is an easy way to see how often I'm supposed to do a habit. And now we are going to add the streak power up to each card. So it'll be displayed on the right side of the screen. All you have to do is click enable and then pick what day you start your week with. Is it a Sunday or Monday? For me personally, it's a Monday. And then you add the amount of days a week that you're supposed to do the habits. So for example, if you're doing it five times a week, like it's displayed on the cover picture, then you choose number five. Now for the fun part, we're going to add our rewards. So the way I categorize them are by streaks. So first of all, what rewards do you pick? So the first thing is find inspiration online. So you can search rewards for reaching goals, for example. The second thing you, you can do is do a brain dump. You take a moment to sit down and write down all the things that you enjoy doing. You like your hobbies, small and big, as well as your wish list that are not a need, but a want. So anything that you kind of want to buy, that's maybe a bigger or smaller thing. So write everything down, everything that you found online, everything that you thought of. 
your hobbies, the things you want, the things that will drive you. And now it's time to look at each reward and figure out how long the streak should fairly be to get that reward. My streak milestones are 7 days, 14 days, 21 days, 30 days, 45 days, and 60 days. When you reach a certain milestone, what you do is you have many different reward choices and you can only pick one. And what I have is a reward system. So basically how it works is when I reach a certain streak and I pick that as a reward, instead of anything else on that checklist, I put a certain amount of money in a savings account that I can only touch once I reach a 60 day streak. And you can buy anything you like and not feel guilty about it. For example, a necklace or a perfume or maybe even clothes, basically things that are not a need, but a want. The longer the streak, the more money you put in the savings. And then we want to create a reward label. So whenever you reach a milestone and you pick a reward, you're going to add that reward as a task in your to-do list for the day. And you can just add that label. And at the end of the day, you can give yourself that reward or do that certain thing that you want to do. And now that's done and I can show you real quick how I use this habit tracker day to day. When I'm the end of my day, I just mark down all of the habits that I did that day. And you can see that little green label on each card. The label is green when you're on track with your habits. However, it turns yellow to warn you that if you skip today, then you will lose your streak completely and you will have to start from the beginning. When I reach a certain streak, I pick a reward and then I create a card for it and put it on any day that I want to do that reward. And I'm of course going to add that label as well. And when it's done, I just move it the I just move the reward card to my done list and it'll be grayed and crossed out. And the grayed crossed out effect is also thanks to the list highlighter chrome extension that I use. And that's basically how I do it. Now, I hope this video helped you in any way. Let me know in the comments what habits you are planning to track or what habits are you already tracking. Now, if you're a person who likes a more artistic way of tracking your habits, I have another video that I did about how to track your habits using OneNote. I will link it up here. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Ciao!